don't think we counted on coming into this day with both of these teams at 1-0. That's where we find ourselves after a win yesterday for the Netherlands and a really impressive win for Panama. They've got the quick turnaround from last night getting started here today at noon. Chiron Martis, who gets the nod in a big spot today for his squad, pitching in the Dutch Major Leagues currently. He's 35 years old and still representing his country. He has pitched in the Dutch League the last couple of years, has got some Major League time. Here he is, having a chance to put his team in the driver's seat. Ramos last year split the time between the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes and the Great Lake Loons. Called strike three on that low one at the knees to Ramos, and he is gone. Tanamari are in the best spot you can be. They come out last night, they take care of a team, Chinese Taipei, that they essentially don't know a whole lot about. They could be an upset team. They came out, took care of business with them, and they got the race on the Mount Hyman career. For Panama, able to get that win yesterday as a flare out to short, settles into the glove of the veteran Ruben Tejada. Look at Ruben Tejada making this just look absolutely automatic. <laughs> Drifting a little bit, and then just casually makes the basket catch with the sun. So two out and two on now for Jonathan Scope out of the five spot. 1-1 left side, and that's into the glove of Jose Caballero, and it brings the inning to a close. That brings up a guy who yesterday played a big role in his team's victory, Josh Palacios, who was the one to come through with an RBI single to give the Netherlands the lead. Palacios swinging out of his shoes on 2-2. He's gone on strikes. Two gone. Balancing off, and Trump in the air to left. We saw the wind play some tricks down the line yesterday, and... Oh, it falls in front of Alan Cordova, who lost it in the sun. Ballantine steaming around, and he's out of the plate. Oh, what a throw from Alan Cordova. Ballantine wants a challenge. So does Andrew Jones, who is emphatically signaling to Hensley Mullins in that first base dugout. But Alan Cordova may have saved the first run of the game after losing that fly ball in the sun. Man, I think Christian Bethencourt got that tag down on the left shoulder of Vladimir Balancing before his left hand went down. And the out call is confirmed. So with two away, it brings in Xander Bogart to single to the left side in his first trip to the plate. Huge out for Jaime Berea. Yes, I know there's no one on base. 3-2 count, but if you're Jaime Berea, essentially trying to sneak under that 50 pitch threshold. 3-2. Bogart drives it well to left. We'll see what the wind does with this one. Going back on it is Cordova on the wall. And the first home run to left field that we've seen in a day game belongs to who else? Xander Bogarts. 1-0 Netherlands in the third. And we talked about Xander Bogarts trying to wake up offensively. Obviously, he's put up massive numbers in his major league career, but not a whole lot happening in a Netherlands uniform. Hanging up there just enough and beating that win. Xander Bogarts gets his boys in the lead. 99.8 miles an hour off the bat, and Luis Ortiz will go out and grab the ball from his starter, Jaime Berea. And Berea obviously disappointed. But look at that smile from Luis Ortiz saying, hey, man, you gave us yeah. two and two-thirds terrific innings. This is a one-run game as you leave right now. Ruben Tejada stands in. Tejada, one of the four strikeout victims today against Chiron Martis. Martis now nearing the twilight stage of his baseball career, and he gives up a liner down the left field line to another former big leaguer, and it is a one-out double for Ruben Tejado, who pulls into second base as the potential tying run here in the fourth. Second walk issued by Martis brings him to the end of his day. So the new arm into the game for the Netherlands is the right-hander Mike Bolzenbroek. One-two, Caballero out to short. Stabbed there, flipped to second by Bogarts, and Scope to first in time for an inning-ending 6-4-3 double play. Fantastic work by that Netherlands infield. That's going to become a common refrain throughout this World Baseball Classic in Xander Bogart. We talked about his struggles the first couple of World Baseball Classics today. After we talked about him, single in the first inning, solo homer in the third. What a play by Xander Bogart deep in the hole and the cannon to first to get Santa Maria. And this is absolute effortless from Xander Bogart. He's done that a few times before ever in the shortstop position. Big moment right here for Panama too. One nothing game, runner in scoring position. Mike Bolzenberg got two quick outs to start the fifth. The walk and the stolen base now, and a big chance for Araus. Back to the bat rack, 2 2. Did so. First strikeout for Mike Bolzenberg. Pitch number 30 now into the bank for Alberto Guerrero, so he is slated for a day off tomorrow. And a big drive out to right by Durickson. Profar, good night. This ball 
absolutely crushed by Dirk's par five. No doubt a slaughter and hanging out in the middle of the plate. Third career World Baseball Classic homer for Dirk's and Profar, 100 miles an hour off the bat. Man, Profar got all of that. Panama's in business right here, the sixth inning. We talked about getting to the back end of that bullpen for the Netherlands. It's a big opportunity for them. And now you need a big hit in a big spot. And Erasmo Caballero will try to provide it. 1-0, he swings and punches that left side and is through for a base hit. Erasmo Caballero gets his team on the board. A two-out RBI single in the sixth. It's back to a one-run ball game. 2-1, to one, Netherlands leading. Guardi Hero able to have enough on that ball to get through. This rangy info past Andy Bogarts. You know, even though Jerks and Profar left the yard with one out in the fifth, Alberto Guerrero has retired nine of the last ten he has faced. That's the only hit that he's given up. One, two, swung on and missed. So a really strong inning and a really strong day on the mound for Alberto Guerrero. Bottom of the seventh inning in Taijung. A two to one lead for the Netherlands over Panama as we move into the latter third of this game. So a big spot here for Chadwick Trump. This pool play. Back up the middle, perfectly positioned. A great play by Arauz, who's got the out at first. It'll push Simmons to third, but Jonathan Arauz was stationed perfectly out behind the second base bag, and he gets the second out. Profar is going to take the intentional free pass here off of the 2-0 count. Bernadina, oh, what a diving stab by Cordoba at first. The converted shortstop getting most of his work in the outfield these days, and like a cat off the bag, snares that one. 2-1 to one our score as the left-hander Alberto Baldonado takes over on the pitcher's mound. Xander Bogarts searching for a three-hit day, has it, and he may end up a triple away from the cycle. He does on a double to get things started in the eighth. You definitely heard us in that open talking about some of the lack of production we've seen at the World Baseball Classic. Coming to this game, hit 222 in a Dutch uniform. Here he is, three for three with the home run, too. Netherlands has had some opportunities today to add to this lead, but not many. Bogarts advances. Gregorius retired 5-3, one out of the eight. Trying to catch someone napping as trying to catch a mistake. The Netherlands is going to do so as the Netherlands manufactures an insurance run here in the eighth. That is a wild pitch. Charge to Baldonado, who just buried it. But Christian Bethicourt is going to tell you he should have had that. So Alan Cordoba into the batter's box for big league homers. Laces this one out to short. Xander Bogarts is there to put it away. And the Netherlands improves to 2-0 and heads into its off day in the driver's seat in Pool A. And you can see the energy, the momentum just stayed in that first base dugout on the, on the Netherlands team. The minute Xander Bogarts left the yard with that line drive home run in the left field, it was all smiles with this Dutch team. And they are in the driver's seat here in Pool A. Hensley Mullins and his Kingdom of the Netherlands team, the lone remaining squad unbeaten through two days and two games. Two and O oh as Panama drops its first of the 2023 Classic, and the Netherlands moves on into an off day tomorrow with a 3-1 to one win over Panama.